everyone. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Chris and I'm a part of the Let's Talk and Gumont team. So today in this uh, Let's Analyze video, we're going to compare and contrast the performances of four speakers. <laughs> four speakers, two performances, and all in this video here. So the first pair is, um, I think maybe a lot of you may know them, Daria and Gleb, our little stars, the stars of our October conference. And the second pair uh, are famous uh, TED Talk speakers, Vyacheslav and Vladislav, which became, who became well known after their performance in Vilnius, where they told us about the Jews' harp. Yes, you heard me right, the Jews' harp. The Jews' harp is a musical instrument, and Vyacheslav and Vladislav showed it to us, and they actually know how to play it. They played it for us. They told uh, the audience about the history of the Jews' harp, about where it got its name from, about how it's called in different countries, and then... And it has more than 900 different names. Slava knows all of them. They played a little bit on it, so this whole performance was really mesmerizing. The topic of Darian Gleb's speech was crazy equals genius, and Darian Gleb really embraced that. So they divided their speech into two kind of sections. So Gleb was this man from the Shakespearean era. First, the poem is called Moonstruck Equated Sagacious. It all starts with a void of all light. Of all senses devoid, to null the amount, yet in here, for amount, a storm is brewing inside. He was reading out poetry lines from his manuscript, and was totally in this is his own atmosphere. And, and Dario was this modern, courageous, uh, brave, um, cool, kind of like strong and independent woman who was rapping. Yes, you heard me right. She was rapping and she was doing it so well. I don't even have any words for it. The disadvantage of all this uniqueness is in the society. The cold sickness leads to anxiety. It shows a straight link to depression. It makes the blood turn into inclement traces on paper or cuts on the wrist. That's the worst case scenario. Also exists isolation, regrets, and the least of disorders. Synthetics are damaging, harmful bodies instead of the effort just to comprehend the society, says. I do recommend that you change your approach to life and how you think. If you fail, it's all right. We'll find you a shrink and he'll make you feel fine. Do you listen to me? Could you give me a sign? So these two performances, they have a lot in common. And I think the main thing that obviously everybody will note straight away is that both of them are connected to art. <laughs> Well, Vyacheslav and Vladislav tell us about music, and music, as we all know, is one of the most famous forms of art. And when you're involved in music and you know how to play a musical instrument, then we can definitely say that you are connected to art. <laughs> Darian Gleb, their mm, performance itself, I think, was art. So they presented their topic in this kind of artistic, amazing, inspirational way. And I think that is truly amazing. And then another thing that I think both of these pairs did absolutely great is the, the way they used their props. So for Vyacheslav and Vladislav, well, obviously their main prop was they used harps. So they demonstrated it to us, they visualized it for us, and I think that it was a lot of help. Like seeing it out there, knowing that it is out there, that you can see how it looks like and how it's displayed, and I think that really helped a lot in understanding the whole concept of their speech. And I think that the prop that drew most attention to itself in Darian Gleb's performance was this uh, paper roll of this manuscript from which Gleb read out his lines. I think it really brought down this atmosphere of the medieval, kind of like a uh, pretty old historical era, and it really made the audience believe that it, they were at the, these ancient times. It really was really, really great. However, we can't say that these performances are definitely similar. I think they are quite different, and there's a lot that is not the same. I think the main difference between these two performances is that Vyacheslav and Vladislav, they really gave this old classical talk. So they stood still, 
front of their microphones, they spoke out loud to the audience, they just um, very well, their talk was really well structured, everything was understandable, and then they practically demonstrated us this Jews harp and it was really cool. And Dari and Gleb, they have transformed their whole speech into our performance. So they really broke down this fourth wall. They were communicating with each other. They were communicating with the audience. I mean, yes, Vyacheslav and Vladislav were also communicating with the audience. They made jokes and stuff, and they were interesting to watch. However, Gleb and Daria, they really made their performance theatrical. They made use of their space. They moved around. They talked loudly. They changed their pace. They changed their pitch. And it was all really exciting and truly influential just really moving and I think that that is the main difference because they really made the audience engage, they asked questions, they mm, provoked them to applaud and all of that, it was just so cool, like the spur of the moment kind of thing. I think the main conclusion that we can draw from that is that before delivering a public speech it is really important to acknowledge your topic, your personal traits, your experience in public speech speaking, your strengths, your weaknesses, learning your lines really well, knowing what you're going to speak about and choosing which way of delivering a speech is going to suit just you, is going to suit just your speech. Believe it! <laughs> now, 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 don't get ecstatic. So many things get left in the attic, tied into weather, covered with rust, to science delivered, preserved under dust. So we must, we do not have any regard for the last of those left bitter and scarred. Take this man. By some legal doubt, he lived, loved, continued to craft. This spark in his mind burned so bright, he created whole worlds full of darkness and plight and tentacular monsters roaming the night. But the light might be carried like the merciless tide through alternative currents of another great mind. We are forever in debt to those who are set on feeling the draught with a stream of pure thought from dawn until dusk to shape this broad or down the husk. How do you like that, Elon Musk? <laughs> In their speech, they have really proven to us that they themselves are geniuses because their performance was crazy, it was all over the place, but it was so amazing. So everything is going to be just fine for you, you just have to work out something that suits you personally right, and it is all going to be okay. So thank you all for your attention, that is it for today. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and other social media. Please leave your opinion in the comment section below and put your thumbs up. It was Chris here with you. Come to our next conference. So much more lays ahead of us. Thank you all. Bye-bye.